G'day and welcome back to Duck Soil Gaming and our continuing let's play on our My First Farm campaign in Pure Farming 2018. Now unfortunately the second and third videos I had recorded, including a little bit of a rant, um, the audio didn't record for some reason. So uh, I think my Focusrite box uh, locked up and it had no recording audio. So uh, we might just put them out as a time-lapse video with a bit of music behind it. I'm not going to go back and re, uh, re-vocalize everything we did in that. So unfortunately, we're a little bit ahead of where we were. We've already uh, been and both irrigated and fertilized our one of our orchards. And we've plowed a field ready for seeding. So we come back in today to the point where we actually are going to be seeding. Now, let's go over a couple of quick things that we've learnt uh since the first episode um firstly i'll get on to some comments from some other youtubers a little bit later um but the more and more i play it the more and more certain aspects of the game come out that are very surprising but very very good so one of the things um actually i'll address one of the youtube comments straight away a couple of the youtubers have come out and said oh the game sucks it's got no lights on the tractors all that sort of stuff well poppycock it does okay all you have to do is actually just read the instructions and work out how to turn on your lights okay it's really not that bad so if I go to my controls here and go there and go Y on my Xbox controller I've got lights gee look at that you know I'm gonna get started on ranting in a minute so I'm not gonna continue that so um, don't listen to everything that's out there. I mean, take it with a grain of salt. There are some people that just aren't giving it a true review and all that sort of stuff. Now, as I hop back out of the tractor for a second, one of the things I did find that was very, very good, for instance, so a lot of people are saying the graphics and the gameplay and all that is not going to be the same as Farming Sim and all that sort of stuff. Compare apples to apples, guys. Don't compare current state Farming Simulator 17 with its thousands of mods to this game on its first day of release. Compare this game, essentially, with Vanilla Farming Simulator 17. Why? Why would we need to do that? Well, this game hasn't had two years of development, multiple patches, multiple hotfixes, thousands of mods to support and actually bring the gameplay into it. So a few people have been saying, oh, the game sucks. It's got no seasons. It's got no control of the tractors, like turning on and off, like powering up the engine, all that sort of stuff. Guess what? Farming Simulator 17 generally didn't have all of those features, had some, um, on launch. Seasons didn't happen until, um, well, when was that? End of last year. Um, towards the end of last year. So we went through at least a whole year without seasons. So come on. I mean, let's let's sort of think about it a little bit realistically. Now, there's nothing to say that the guys from Realismus Modding or someone else doesn't come into this game and gets something like seasons up and running. I mean, we're too far too early down the track to determine exactly what's going to happen so um, before you actually start dissing a game start looking at it and comparing it so it's actually got a fair chance in its comparison not just one that would be unfair so I think at the moment if you compare the current farming simulator 17 to this game you're doing both games an injustice because it's not a fair comparison okay now in saying that there's certainly things that are in this game that should be more advanced than what Farming Simulator 17 was on its launch. I give it that because it's come out later. And it's also had the opportunity to watch what Farming Simulator 17 has done, um, but not do it itself. So, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things. But one of the things we did find is, for instance, with the plough, when we were ploughing, and this is, this is a nice little uh, touch that I think is very good. When you are ploughing in real life, you won't be able to do very hard 90 degree turns with the plough still ploughing its furrows. You won't be able to reverse the plough while it's stuck in the ground. And that's exactly the case in this game. You can't reverse with the plough when it's lowered. You have to raise the plough and then reverse. Same can be said for the turning. When you go to turn, particularly with the Xbox 360 controller, with the plough in the ground, you get a hell of a vibration and a lot of resistance saying, basically, hey, you're going to tear me off my pit, off my um, three-point attachment because I'm not designed to do this. So you can turn about two or three degrees and that's it. There's none of this really sharp turning with the plough on the ground. Now, these are the added little bits of realism 
that aren't available in Farming Simulator 17. So I would expect there's probably going to be some more surprises like that going ahead. Whether or not there are, we don't know, but we'll find out soon enough. All right. Anyway, I'll get more into my rant a little bit later. But I just wanted to highlight the fact that there are some things in here that Farming Simulator 17 doesn't have. And we need to be conscious of what we're comparing at the time because it's not fair either way um, for that. And I mean, okay, yeah, not everyone's going to be fair and people are going to be biased and all that sort of stuff. I understand that. Um, I certainly am not going to try, I'm going to try and not be biased. I'm certainly going to try and give it an even go and give it a chance. Now, in the second episode, even the first episode, I complained about the fact that I couldn't get the controllers to work. Well, the controllers work now fine. Like the Xbox 360 controller is what I'm using now. And it works fine. Um, now, the problem was, and, and is this a problem with the game? Well, possibly. I still had my G27 and my joystick plugged into the computer. So that confused the game. So I didn't know whether to use the steering wheel, the joystick, or the gamepad. So once I unplugged all those and restarted the game, the gamepad worked perfectly. Um, and, it, and it does work perfectly. So, um, yeah, anyway. All right. Anyway, enough babbling. Let's get in the tractor and let's uh, continue on. So we'll enter the tractor. We might um, turn the lights on. What do you reckon? Um, <laughs> All right, like a dog with a bone. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the cedar. We'll go in and have a look at the, the emails because we get a lot of emails and that's something you, you will have missed from, um, you will have missed from the, the first two episodes um, because uh, obviously I didn't get to finish it or I didn't get to publish it. Okay, so we attach the device. So we've attached that. Right, now let's bring up our tablet. Um, now bear with me, I've got to remember how to, yeah, there we go, uh, in the emails. Okay, so being your own boss, let's have a quick look at that. Um, as you may have guessed, I have a task for you. Allow me to explain. An order came in for 8,000 kilograms of grain. To complete the task, you will need to plow and plant the field ahead of us, then harvest the crops and transport them to the warehouse. Don't worry, as usual, I'll help you. Da, da, da. Okay, no worries. So that's what we've, that's the main goal we've got. Um, the plow. Um, yep, yeah, we've already done the plowing, so we don't have to worry about that. Working with the plow, there's the controls for working with the plow. Yep, happy with that. The cedar. Now it's time to familiarise yourself with the cedar, as it is your next step in working the field. The cedar is used for planting various cereal crops. Before setting out, you have to fill the cedar with the grain crop of your choice. Let's start by attaching the cedar to the tractor. Well, we've done that. Very good. Great to start seeding the field. God, oh, great. To start seeding the field, first fill the cedar with a proper crop grain. In this case, we need wheat. Go to the wheat pallet just next to the shed. Stop the cedar right by it and fill it with grain. Okay, that seems fairly simple. Let's see how simple it is. All right, and there's the wheat over here. Now, I'm not sure how I'm not sure if I have to, I'll probably have to get out of the vehicle. That's the other thing too. You can't get out of the vehicle when it's moving, which I think is another good touch because you don't want to be getting out of the vehicle when you're moving, when it's moving. Um, now, all right, I'm in the little blue zone. Okay, enter. There we go. So I've got to press the other button. Okay. So now we've got our wheat. Alrighty. So we've received another email. Okay. One thing about this at the moment, you're very busy with emails. Now you've got a full seeder, you can start sowing the field. First drive to the edge of the field, then lower and start the seeder. The only thing that's left is to cover the whole field, just as you did with the plough. 
Okay, this could take some time. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll head off. Turn our lights back on. Okay, see, it's even got working lights at the back. Gee, strange that. Yes, I'm not going to let it go. I think there's a couple of YouTubers that will need to make an apology video. That's my opinion. I know it won't happen. Anyway, calm, take a deep breath. Okay. Uh. Now, obviously, we haven't really learnt this map yet. Um, we've spent, what, about an hour and a half on it, I think, total so far. Um, but yeah, so. Alright, so this is what we're going to be seeding. Now, as you can see, the menu comes up there on the right-hand side, and it tells us the, about the field. So it tells us that we've ploughed 99% of the field. We left 1% unploughed, obviously. Um, it also tells our cultivation state. So basically, you're getting a progress report of how the how the map is. Now, if you look down on the mini map, you notice the field we're on has a, has a different colour to it. That's showing that it's actually ploughed. And as we go along and, and make changes to the field, it actually shows up on the map. So the map, the field that you can see on the northern end of that mini map at the moment, you can see there that's been harvested and it's ready to be ploughed. Um, that's just the colour and the, and the style that they show for that. So you know very quickly just by looking at the minimap without having to go into another menu and pulling, going through a whole different array of things to look at, you can actually see the status of the field straight away um, or just walk over them straight away and then you'll get the detail of it. So that, that's an improvement, I think. I, I definitely think that's a bit of an improvement. All right, so let's see what we're going to do. We've got to uh, work. Okay, so with this, we don't have to lower it or anything else like that. Do, I don't think we have to turn it on. No, that's it. So we just do the work. So some things are a little bit more interactive than others. I'm assuming. And there we go. So you can see on the mini map, it's now gone green. So it shows that we've uh, seeded. Now, the Probably a disappointing thing looking at it here is it doesn't change the soil at all. But then again, maybe it really doesn't need to. Maybe that... Uh, see, again, with it in the lowered position, we can't reverse. And I think that's great. That's... Um, Oops, pressing reverse instead of forward. Um, I think that's 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 fantastic. I really do. I think that's very good. All right. So we're just going to continue on through here. Yeah. So, all right. Let's go back to my little bit of a rant. So, it's been a few YouTubers. Um, I looked at last night as I was sort of polishing up and and putting out the first the first video. Um, they were very quick to jump on the bandwagon and say, oh, this game is shite. It's not as good as Farming Simulator and all that sort of stuff. Now, I've already mentioned that part, so I'm not going to go on about that. Um, the disappointing part is, is when you've got YouTubers that come out and say, look, the game is shit. It's got no lights. It's got none of this. This is basic stuff that these guys can be checking out. There is no excuse for coming out and saying the tractors don't have lights. Number one, there's some of the promotional videos that... Uh, was put out by Pure Farming that had the lights running on it. I mean, it's not that difficult. Um, now look, I know the steering wheel and controller issue is a bit of an issue. Is, is an issue. Um, I mean, I can't get my steering wheel to work properly because of the controls. Apparently, the G29 Logitech steering wheel does work does work properly with the game out of the box because it's it's been configured for that. Um, G27 problem with all the keys as in they're just randomly mapped and stuff like that and and the other problem with the game inherently is the fact that you cannot remap the keys so what they've mapped for you as keys is what you're stuck with um, that is a problem and hopefully that will be changed in an upcoming patch I mean that's the thing they have the op option and ability to, to do these changes once they get a lot more feedback from the community um, that would be a nice thing to, to just change so as obviously then you can program up whatever keys you want for your controls and then you'll be able to get things like the G27 running very easily and in fact 
that is the easy fix for them. If they make it so you can remap your own keys, um, then uh, it's not an issue. All right. Um, yeah, so I, I really, I really don't like that some have just gone out and sort of jumped on that bandwagon and done that. Um, yeah, look, I know everyone loves giants, and well, not everyone. A lot of people love giants. They love the farming simulator um, genre. Um, but I would remind people, and for those that don't, don't already know, everyone loved the Roller Coaster Tycoon franchise too. When Atari came out and wanted to do Roller Coaster Tycoon World, and they basically rested on their laurels of what the game, what the the uh, the license basically had, effectively went through three or four different developers and put out a game that was gobshite. Okay, didn't help. They were they were competing against um, Frontier Developments, I think they they were called, uh, with Planet Coaster, which was a fantastic and is a fantastic game. Um, but yeah, I mean they rest on their laurels and they produce a shit game. And it's quite possible, unlikely, but it is quite possible that Giants could well do the same thing. But you've got to, you've really got to be careful, particularly if, I mean, if, if you're basically reviewing games and, and sort of covering this sort of stuff, um, you really got to be careful. I mean, okay, is there a chance you can be sued or whatever else? Well, I don't know, I guess so. I mean, nothing to say you can't be. Um, but, more, more importantly than that, you've got to be loyal and true to your subscribers, if, if nothing else, um, just to give them an, an accurate reflection of the game. So, to just come out and say, oh, the game's crap, can't turn the lights on and all that, when you haven't even bothered just to go through the controls and see the controls that comes up and says lights, um, that's ridiculous. It really is. Anyway. Alright. I won't harp on that point. Um, but yeah, so I mean... What are my thoughts of the game? Let's let's refer to that then. Initially, um, I I still think the game is very good. I don't think the graphics are anywhere near as bad as what a lot of people are pointing out. And in fact, in many ways, I think the graphics are better in some aspects. Um, I certainly think like the grass texture they put around the, the farm here looks much better than the one that Giants has. Um, and again, remember, a lot of the textures we've got in some of the maps now are textures that were made by modders. They're not the default Giants ones. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I mean, looking at looking at the, the actual um, the actual fields themselves, like when they're ploughed, does it look any better? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. Six to half dozen the other. At the end of the day, I don't know. I'm not sitting here and really taking a look at the, the ploughed furrows and saying, oh, that, looks, that one looks great because that one's randomly higher and that and it looks better. At the end of the day, I just want to see that my field is ploughed. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's got 5,000 specks of dirt to make up a little mound or whether it's got three. Um, I mean, be a little bit more realistic, realistic of your expectations, I would say. Um, once, once I overcome the controller issue, I mean, if, if I had been stuck to use keyboard controls to play this game, I would have been on the bad wagon basically saying, yep, this game's rubbish. Now, um, after an hour and a half, I went on to the forums, and I went on to Steam, and I posted a couple of comments about the fact that um, the controllers were an issue, both the G27 and the Xbox controller. Uh, a developer came on and asked me a couple of questions about what I was doing, all that sort of stuff, and then they basically said, just make sure you've got no other controllers plugged in. Just make sure you're only using the, the Xbox 360 or the steering wheel and see how that goes. So, of course, when I unplugged the steering wheel and the joystick and just had the Xbox controller in, I mean, it works fine. And it really does. I mean, I, I can't complain about the control controlling aspects of this game at the moment, other than the fact I can't use my steering wheel because of the buttons mapping. Um, but also, the only other reason is the fact that I've got to learn all the controls for the Xbox controller because I'm not really one that uses that on the PC. But that's just a habit of a creature habit that I've just got to learn. Um, and slowly I'm getting used to it. Um, so, yeah, but I mean, yes, yeah, so I don't think the graphics are anywhere near as bad as, what, as I was saying before, as what a lot of people were saying. Um, they're not perfect, but I think the, the details of some of the equipment I've already seen. 
is probably as good, if not better, than some of the stuff that Giants put out. Certainly better than a lot of the stuff that a lot of modders put out, um, which you'd expect. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's all that bad. I think the depth of field is fantastic. They have a depth of field they use. Um, and maybe that's what puts some people off. I mean, I don't know. But um, I, I certainly don't mind it. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, at this early stage, I think the game is, is it worthwhile the money, worth the money? Um, look, I think, I think it is. I really do. I mean, I'm only playing the tutorial campaign at the moment. So this is basically, effectively, your lessons. So um, we've inherited a farm from our, our late grandfather and we've basically got to get up and running, make a profit, pay back the loan he had outstanding um, and then create a farming empire. Um, and admittedly, um, we're only a part of the way through it. But uh, so far, so good. I haven't had a look at the sandbox mode where you just basically create your own farm and just go for it um, but uh, I will have a look at that at some stage soon and I haven't started I did have a quick look um, as I was trying to get controllers and all that to work at the missions um, the scenarios they have and they look quite good um, different scenarios where you just got to go out and say harvest uh, a field and, and sell off the field and stuff like that there only initially the first couple by the look of it are fairly quick and easy I don't know how deep they go and how, how much fun they will be. But we'll check those out very soon as well. And I'll actually record some of those as well. Um, and then there's the full-blown campaign mode, as I understand it. I haven't, again, I haven't looked at it in depth yet. Where you basically can be managing multiple farms in different countries at once. Now that, that appeals to me. That, that could be interesting. Of all the different type of crops that they have. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But... For the moment, just in what I've seen so far, I think it's it's a good game with a lot of promise. Obviously, there aren't really any modders out there that we know of. Well, there's no mods available other than one that uh, they've created themselves just to showcase the mods going into the game. Um, but I think once we get a few modders out there that are interested and actually do some modding for the game, which I hope we certainly get, um, yeah, I, I think it's got a lot of promise. I really do. Um, and look, someone may sort of come back to me six months' time and say, ha-ha, you were wrong. And I may sit here in six months and say, ha-ha, I was right. I don't know. But for the moment, I certainly am enjoying the game. I think many of you would also enjoy the game. Um, particularly those that already use an Xbox controller, you would enjoy it. If you don't have an Xbox controller or a wheel... Um, then I would say no, don't get it because the controls, particularly for the tractor and stuff like that, will just drive you nuts um, and it's not a very pleasant experience uh, at the moment. Um, if you have a G29, uh, I don't know, I, I couldn't comment because I don't know if it works that well. Um, I, I've read reports where others are saying the G29 works fine and others are saying that the G29 is a bit erratic. I don't know. Certainly the G27 the steering wheel and the pedals, they function fine. Uh, it's the button mapping that's the issue. Um, so, uh, if if that doesn't worry you too much, then you should be fine. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a matter of getting that profile for the controllers right, I think. That's that's probably one of the main things. But anyway. But yeah, overall, I, th I think it's a good game, and I'm certainly, like I said, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to continue to showcase this little bit of the series for the moment, um, and we'll see where we go. I certainly have no reason to uh, to not continue to play it, um, and to be honest, it is a, a, a nice uh, change of pace. And unfortunately, it's been that good of a change of pace, I haven't even finished doing my Roper DLC review, which I started. Um... So it's actually impinged on that. So um, anyway, we'll get to that at some stage, maybe. All right. So we're we're coming to the near the end of this field. We uh, we might end this episode about here actually because we can come back and finish off the field 
and then continue on to our next set of jobs. Um, I've had my little bit of a rant. Um, it was actually a lot shorter than what it was for the others. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to mention. Okay. Now, um, I was in having a bit of chat with my good friends Grizzly Bear Sims and Eustace Farmer last night in relation to pure farming and stuff like that. Now, I did comment in one of the other videos that I wasn't able to put out because of the audio. One of the things is, some people have, have said and some people are thinking, well, the game should be much better because it's a year late. It was going to be pure farming 17, then they pulled it, and then they delayed it, da, 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 and then brought this one out. Now, here's my opinion on this. It is a very welcome change to find a game developer who has the cajolies to basically stop the development of their game, pull the release date, and then say, hey, look, guys, we're not in a position where we think it should be released publicly, so we're going to cancel the release and we're going to go back and work on a little bit until we can actually get to a point where we think we should release it. We don't want to give you a shite game. Now, that doesn't happen anymore. Atari should have done that with Rollercoaster Tycoon World. Cattle and Crop should have done that. Um, basically, them hitting their release date, nah, haven't done it, been delayed, da 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 da. They should just go back and say, look, whatever the reason is, um, whether we've spent all the kickstart, Kickstarter money on, on other stuff or whatever else, I mean, who cares? Um, they should just go and say, look, we're not in a position to release the game, so we're going to delay it. Okay, so we're going to delay our release date by six months or 12 months. They get far more respect from me by doing that than by putting out a shit game and then expecting the rest of us, our, us mug consumers, to basically put up with that rubbish game for a period of time until they use us as guinea pigs and then start doing hot fixes and all that sort of stuff and sort of trying to do um, do critical critical uh, catch me when you can maintenance instead of actually putting out a quality product to start with. Um, so to me, these guys with Pure Farming 2018 have much more respect from me. Um, it's, it's a big decision. It, it does impact their bottom line. It, it impacts their futures, all that sort of stuff. Um, and unfortunately, in today's day and age, not enough companies do it. They're all about, well, it's not so much the developers, it's the publishing companies. And that was, that was true, particularly with um, Rollercoast Tycoon World. The publisher, being Atari, and the publishers, being for whatever game they're using, they want to get it out there, they want to see the quick money from the sales, they don't care about the longevity of the game generally, okay? And I'm generalizing here, I know. Um, I would much rather someone that actually cares about their game go, look guys, yeah, it's really not to the point where we want it to. We want to pull it back for a bit. We're going to delay it. We're really, really sorry, um, but we hope to bring it to you as a much better game. Fine, much better idea. And I, like I said, I have much more respect for the companies that do that. And that's part of the reason why probably I'm going to give these guys a, a really fair go because um, it takes a lot to do that in today's day and age, like I said. And uh, and there should be far more that do it. I mean, we're, we're essentially, as, as gamers now, for the, for the most part, we end up getting alpha release games. Games that should be tested still internally before it gets released. But no, they release it to the public to get some quick money in and then they hope that they can just go through and fix it with patches and all that sort of stuff. Um, which, you know, it may work to a degree, but it also is going to alienate your customer base, in my opinion, um, to, a, to a degree. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to cover that off because I know it was one of the things that, uh, I know Grizzly mentioned it, um, and I'm not, I'm not having a go at him at all, but... Um, it's certainly one of those things. There, there is two sides to every story, and while people might, might have been disappointed that it was delayed um, by a year or so, um, granted, yeah, okay, that's 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 fine. I mean, people were expecting a game; they may have paid a pre-order for it at the time. I don't know, um, but at the end of the day, I personally think they've done better for themselves by delaying it and putting out a far better game to what they obviously had at the time. Um, then, uh, then not. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's my opinion on that. All right. So, as I said five minutes ago, I was going to end this episode and uh, continue on. So, what we're going to do now is I am going to end this episode. 
we will go off and uh, refuel the, the tractor uh, off camera and then we'll continue on with what we have um, with the next part of the uh, next part of the missions okay so thanks very much for watching um, this is Duck Soil Duck Soil Gaming so I wish you a wonderful morning afternoon evening or night no matter where you are in the world look after all your loved ones and please hit that like button and that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber uh, and uh, we'll see you back here again on Pure Farming 2018 when next we continue our series on My First Farm. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you very, very soon. See you later. Bye.